Hey folks, welcome back to the Vegas Don channel. We're out here at the Seven Magic Mountains, an attraction that was created by an artist who stacked a bunch of boulders on top of each other and then painted them, or maybe painted them and then stacked them on top of each other. And he um, created this piece of artwork out here in the desert about 10 miles south of the M Casino at the exit of uh, St. Rose Parkway off of the interstate, Interstate 15. And um, this is about 20 miles south of downtown Las Vegas, Fremont Street, I would say. So uh, definitely take an Uber if you want to come out here and you don't have a car. But um, it is quite unusual. And uh, it is a huge tourist attraction. People love it. It's totally free. Uh, there's a QR code on a sign over here asking for donations. But otherwise, it's totally free. So um, just bring some walking shoes so you can walk out there in the desert. It's all rocks. Path out there is all rocks. So... Uh, yeah, it's, it's really interesting. About 10 years ago, this guy did this, and he, uh, the, the county or someone said they were gonna come out here and take all of them down, but then they just never did. And so it's been popular with folks ever since. And so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here now and uh, travel northbound back towards Las Vegas. And uh, the winds are really, really bad today. Out of, out of the southwest at about 15 to 20 miles an hour. And so um, it is blowing all of this dust everywhere. And the parking lot is dirt and gravel as well. So uh, you definitely want to be bringing a pair, of good pair of walking shoes or sandals. Come back out here. And this is actually Las Vegas Boulevard, believe it or not, right here. We are going to make a right and go north, but that is southbound towards the California side. Another 11 miles, I believe it is, down towards the state line with California. But we're going to go northbound, heading back towards civilization up here in Las Vegas. 55 mile an hour speed limit out here. At the uh, very, just past the very edge of civilization. Got Interstate 15 closely paralleling us here on our left or to the uh, west of us. Really, uh, really unusual attraction. Just out here in the middle of nowhere. Just past mile marker 11 off of Las Vegas Boulevard for anyone looking to come out this way from Vegas. I guess it would be just past mile marker 10 if you were coming from California, but. Uh, can't imagine anyone coming in from that way because you would just come in off the interstate here off of uh, interstate 15 current temperature here is 75 degrees we must have climbed up an elevation because it was in the uh, mid to upper 80s down in the city Sang about about one once on a dark dust a dark desert highway, and there's 15 over there, Interstate 15, and the railroad tracks parallel that. Although Las Vegas Boulevard was here first, it used to be U.S. Route 91, but it has since changed. Vegas Boulevard. Interstate 15 is constructed back in, I believe, the 60s here. So folks coming from LA up here to Vegas would take the interstate now. But before the interstate, they, this is the route they would have taken. They would have driven here. And over here on our left, somewhere out there, is a Mount Potosi out by Good Springs just to the south southwest part of uh, Las Vegas. And that is where um, Clark Gable's girlfriend, and I, forgive me, I don't remember her name, but her plane crashed into Mount Potosi after taking off from Vegas International. Um, back, I don't remember when it was, the 50s? 
maybe. And certainly Google it or drop a comment if you're familiar with the story. The bar out at the Pioneer Saloon out at uh, Good Springs, which is out here just to the west of us right now. Pioneer Bar is where it's reported that Clark Gable came and uh, cried at the bar after learning that he, uh, his girlfriend was in that plane crash. Or so the story goes. And just a whole lot of nothing out here. You can see the Sheep Mountain Range out in the distance in the video here. I think that that's coming out. not exactly 100% smooth here. Let's see the traffic over here on 15, Interstate 15. Of course it's passing us because we're, our speed limit's at 55, theirs is at 65. Uh, getting close to dusk here in Las Vegas. And traffic on the strip, probably a nightmare at this time of day. Check station, all commercial vehicles. city if far in the distance there. Some motorcyclists past that Subaru going the other way there. Really bright headlights. I guess that's a good thing though. Check station in one mile when flashing but it's not flashing so the check station's probably closed. State says mile marker 24. Back up here, these heavy construction. If they're building warehouses here or what they're doing. Boito's Taco Shop. A chain here throughout the town. Rental trucks and vehicles with livestock must stop. Vegas up here ahead on our left. That's a cool place to go in there and rent your uh, dream car of your choice. Speed Vegas right down, right down here, and uh, just pa just past the M Casino. Go in there, and, uh, rent your dream supercar, drive around the track there. It's pretty cool. I've never done it, but I've known people who have done it. As we come up to the first of the exits here in Las Vegas, St. Rose Parkway being the first. Star Avenue and Cactus. right or east side of the interstate here because we're heading north right now on Interstate 15. On the right side it is St. Rose Parkway but on the left side it is Southern Highlands Boulevard. Yeah, Henderson Lake Mead there for uh, Lake Mead Parkway which is accessible from 
uh, the 215, the end of the 215 out at US 95, that interchange, it becomes Lake Mead Parkway out that way. And this is the beginning of civilization here. This was the drive they showed in the movie The Hangover. The guys coming into town, and they played uh, Kanye, actually. Can't Tell Me Nothing, I believe, is the name of the song, and that was the song they played when they were coming into town here. You see the sign up there for Southern Highlands Parkway to the left and St. Rose Parkway to the right. restaurant out here in Southern Highlands called, uh, now it's called Scotty's. It was called Becca's. Had some really good pizza there, but uh, haven't been out this way in a while. I've got a video actually of, of the drive in my library here, so uh, feel free to check that out here on the Vegas Don channel. Speed limit drops to 55 here. I'm doing 54, so I'm okay. 14 miles to Las Vegas and 16 miles to North Las Vegas. And the travel times are not indicated there on the passage board on the right. Oh, government. starting to come much more clearer into view here. Much more clearly into view, I guess I should say. Yeah, they've got, the, the whole town is under construction, and this is really the, the case nationwide. I, I need to find out what stock symbol belongs to the company that has all these contracts for all the road construction, because They've got to be making all kinds of money. I know the big company here that, that uh, does a lot of road work, Las Vegas Paving, I read that they had like 500 million in revenue last year. How much of that's from the government? Probably most of it. And it's just constant work. Everything is under construction all the time. That Maybach. Just past us there. So we come up to Silverado Ranch Boulevard and South Point Casino. Steak and eggs, $6.45. That is very rare price. And their race book opens at 8.30 every day. Called South Point because it's here at the south part of town. Off of Silverado Ranch Boulevard. And Interstate 15. So there it says red work, road work ahead, but we've been in a road, ro a work zone. <laughs> so what's the difference? Oh goodness. We're gonna take the 215 west here. Battle bots, destructathon, fighting nightly. That's just east of the strip, if I remember correctly. Exit here, exit 33 for Interstate 215, although it becomes County County Expressway 215, County Road 215, on the west side of Interstate 15. I guess the federal government said that the west side was not up to par or something, I don't know. Didn't want to uh, give it the interstate demarcation for some reason. Going underneath Blue Diamond Road, which is a major artery here on the southwest part of town, it becomes Windmill East of, I think Windmill Road, east of Interstate 15. This is an X 
Access Road. If you do not wish to get back on Interstate 15 North, you can see the traffic starting to back up towards the strip there, the exit of Tropicana. The student driver in front of us here. That's always fun. And the 215 Marshmallow at the win. 2024 resident, how about that? That billboard there says, if you're into EDC, EDM, that sort of thing. This is kind of unusual that the traffic will get backed up on the exit ramp to the 215. There must be an accident or something here. Because this is unusual. Oh my. see the strip though, Mandalay Bay, first up, as it's the southernmost part of the strip. Oh my goodness, I don't know what this is. Is this because of the construction? On a Saturday evening? This is really odd. Probably should have taken the east exit instead. I wanted to try and head out towards Summerlin. Freeway Service Patrol, FSP. Traffic really gets backed up up here by the uh, south end of the strip especially on the weekends, and they've got construction going on up there. They've got lanes merging. It just becomes a nightmare. You can see the strat there in the distance. So the strip is, of course, extend, extends from, the, uh, from Mandalay Bay there all the way up to the strat, and all points in between. That's what constitutes the Las Vegas Strip. And the Raiders Stadium is there off of the interstate at Russell Road. making my first possible exit after this mess. This is cray cray, as the kids would say. Jet Suite X. Jet Suite X is a, uh, an option for folks, especially between here and Southern California. It's uh, private jets. They book about, what, 10, 15 people on them. And they... Um, they charge a little more, but you don't have to go through security. You don't have to go through the regular airport terminal. They have their own terminal. It's a lot easier. I've never flown them, but it looks like it's a much more efficient model. And see, down here, the traffic is moving below us. But where we are heading, it is not. Town Square, Las Vegas. All sorts of shopping and dining in there. I'm really curious why we're slowed down so much here. Town Square used to have Fry's. Actually, there's the building right there, Fry's Electronics. But it has since closed. It closed a few years ago, actually. I think it was right after the pandemic. Or right during the pandemic, they closed. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment section. But. Uh, that was a cool store. It was all sorts of electronics and stuff. It was awesome. If you're into that sort of thing, which I kind of am. And uh, looks like we've got a merging lane here. Hopefully no one will try and sneak in front of us. That's always a fun issue. We are moving, it's just not very fast. Temperature 81 degrees in the city here, so it's cooled off. And again, everything in there. Welcome to Las Vegas. <laughs> Rentals, goodness. They should just have welcome to Las Vegas construction. 
signs all over the place. Sorry about the sun. I know it's uh, really bad this time of day. Try and get out away from the sun as, as quickly as I can here. And it's reflecting off the roadway too, so that's always fun. I want to say hi to all of our international viewers. We see you UK, we see you India, we see you Australia. Welcome, welcome to the Vegas Dawn Channel. We're happy you're here. We especially love when you interact with us and uh, drop comments, like our videos. Let us know we're doing a good job and if we're not doing a good job, let us know. Let us know what you'd like to see, what you'd like to see improved. to do the best job possible for you, our viewers. We would not be here without you. And now, uh, looks like we're sort of moving. Got four lanes here on this side. Speed limit 65 here in the construction zone. No workers present, at least I can't see any. This, uh, this beltway again extends all the way around the valley, except for the eastern part of the valley. It ends up at 215, I'm sorry, Interstate 15, up near the uh, Las Vegas Motor Speedway. This is, this is confusing because these lanes are not, <laughs> I mean, they have, an, oh, both lanes have the markers on them, that's really weird. Huh. And the sun is just brutal, but we'll be getting off here in just a moment. We're going to take this Jones Boulevard exit. Here in a quarter mile, Jones off ramp. I don't miss it. Just follow everybody else. Yeah, the whole city is under construction. Just crazy. And uh, this Jones is a major north-south artery here on the west side of town being here on the east side, I'm sorry, on the west side of Vegas, in the southwestern part of Vegas, which is a rapidly growing and expanding part of town for sure. I'm gonna get out of this brutal sunlight here. There we go. Air quality again was like 77 in our noon report, so. It's been bad all day. You can see it in the distance. Particulate matter being blown around, dust, etc., by all the winds that we've had here. Coming up to the light here, it's uh, Sunset Road. Sierra Gold, Nevada Stoddard, Nevada, Nevada Style Tavern, it says there. And uh, of course, what do you know? More construction up ahead. Circus Center, Las Vegas, whatever that means. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna need to get over. Zipper, zipper merge. Which is really effective when people do it correctly. Yep, all under construction once again. And I'm getting cut off. Okay. Road construction, building construction, all out here in the desert. It's really kind of weird because this desert, once you're done with the desert, I mean, once you're out of Southern California and uh, north of town and stuff, it is, you're, you're in the middle of nowhere, literally. This town just kind of grew up. Las Vegas itself, for those unaware, 
Spanish for the meadows. When they first discovered it, there were uh, green meadows here in town. So they said, oh, there's a source, there's gotta be a source of water here in these green meadows if the grass is green. Green is growing. As we come up to the light here at Russell Road. This is still considered the southwest part of town. I think Tropicana would pretty much demarcate the uh, line between northwest and southwest. Finally got the green light here at Russell Road, proceeding northbound on Jones Boulevard on the west side of Las Vegas. And this roadway is really rough too. Speed limit 45. This light here at Hacienda, named that because it used to be where the Hacienda Casino used to be, off of Las Vegas Boulevard and Hacienda. It is now where, uh, oh, the, where the Luxor is, that area, Hacienda Casino used to be. Coming up to Reno Avenue, got a green light here. Temperature now reads 87 degrees, so concrete, the heat island effect, <laughs> as I've read about. All the concrete and asphalt creating a uh, heat island here in town. And we've got Tropicana up here, and uh, no one is really getting along very swimmingly terms of trying to get through the light. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow, that was bumpy. Smith, Smith's uh, grocery store there. Discount tire. Coming into some more residential areas here. Looks like a mobile home park right there on the right. As well as some, uh, that, that, those look like mobile homes as well. On the left, the west side here of Jones as we continue northbound. Spring Valley Highlands. So we're officially in the area of town known as Spring Valley. And uh, Spring Valley is actually where the um, where Chinatown is located. Off of Spring Valley Road, just west of the uh, 15, Interstate 15 there. Borgata con Condominium Homes. So come up to the light here at Rochelle Avenue. And this guy wants to try and stick his nose out. Z Pawn, right there. As we approach the light here at Flamingo Road. That is a green light, and that is rare. Usually don't get that lucky. Looks like a, is that a mosque there on the right? I'm not sure. If you know, drop a comment in the uh, comment section. Looks like they're building it, or is it just a regular church? Here off of Viking, Viking and uh, Jones, just north of Flamingo. I'd love to be able to drive around for you and uh, go from police call to police call, but uh, they don't let you do that here in Las Vegas anymore. After. Uh, the October of one shooting back in 2017, they discontinued the use of public access to radio scanners. A little un-American if you ask me personally, but um, that's just the way it is. And I made a mistake by getting into the lane with the bus in it. So now, I will attempt to get around him. Spring Mountain Road. 
here in the area of Las Vegas known as Spring Spring Mountain, Spring Valley. Spring Valley, yeah, get myself confused now. No turn signal there indicating a lane change, that's always fun. Coming up to the light here at Desert Inn Road. Finally got the green light here at Desert Inn Road. So we will continue northbound here on Jones on the west side of Las Vegas. Jones Boulevard. Desert Inn is essentially aligned with uh, Resorts World. Tape, film, DVD, archiving, that's a thing, huh? Over on the left side of the street. business parks over here. As we approach the intersection with Edna Avenue. I care optometry. Spelled I space C A R E. Sahara Avenue. We're going to make a left here onto Sahara and fight the sun once more. Popeye's Chicken. Dollar Loan Center next door to that. Then we got the turn signal here at Sahara and Jones Boulevard. We're going to make a left onto Sahara Avenue West. Golly, that is really bright. I'm going to try and focus on the uh, other side of the street here. They got some car dealerships out here along Sahara. Toyota dealership there. Whoa, that is bright. Volkswagen. And there's a, a gang of um, car dealerships on the east side of town on Sahara as well. So here we are on the west side and Sahara is full of car dealerships. Not sure, it looks like someone's trying to uh, figure out where they're going there. CarMax there on the left. Rainbow Road, Rainbow Boulevard correction. Is this a lane? No, that looks like it's a bus lane, okay. And we got the green light here at Rainbow. Westbound on Sahara. See Wells Fargo over there, US Bank on the left, as well as a BMW dealership over here on our right. And a Mazda dealership. Acura dealership, Tesla dealership over here on the left, Fletcher Jones Imports there, Hyundai dealership right here, they come up to the light here, Tanaya, Oishi, Sushi, Saki and Fun, I doubt couldn't say that very fast. Paradise Place, Jamaican food in there. I've been there, it's pretty good. Highly recommend it. And I don't get paid for any of these recommendations, so. Feel free to check it out. Hollywood, Hollywood, Honda. Honda West dealership over here. Show you all the 2024, 25 models. If the 25s have even come out yet, I don't even know. Approach the light here at Buffalo. on 
Fort Apache. Driving northbound on Fort Apache. We just turned off from Sahara. Sahara Avenue westbound. Piccoli Strada is the name of that street. We're going to be hitting up here the light at Charleston Boulevard. Next. Motorcyclist up there really riding kind of dangerously. And I ride. I have a bike, so I uh, nothing against the bikes. And uh, we're going to make this right into here. Three or four cars came in behind me. this right here into Boca Park it's called. This uh, shopping center in here. Florist. Wahoos, Taco and Tacos and more. They have a location down on the strip but they also have one here as well. To show you some of the shopping options around here. Got a Lee's discount liquor up here as well. And this Porsche, oof. Living dangerously. Lens crafters. Stop here, Panera. Pino's Palette, that's what that's called. Cheesecake Factory right here. And uh, we've got what looks like an Uber sitting here in the middle of the road. space here. I want to thank you all of you so very, very much for joining. We really, really appreciate all of you. And please, if you haven't already, please like, follow, and subscribe to us. And feel free to drop a comment and let us know if you uh, like what you see. And if you don't, let us know what you'd like to see differently. We will see you again next time, everyone.